Samsung has finally announced their own XR headset in collaboration with Google and Qualcomm, and it's codenamed Muhan, which means infinity in Korean. And as someone who's owned a lot of VR headsets, I'm pretty excited about this. The design looks a lot like the body of the Quest Pro mixed with the front glass of the Apple Vision Pro. And some people who've had early hands-on experience with it say that it does come with attachable blinders similar to the Quest Pro. For controls, it supports gestures, gaze, voice, and physical controllers, but we don't have any information on those physical controllers yet. Hopefully it's something very similar to Meta's Quest controllers because these are incredible, but we just don't have that information yet. And since one of the controls are gaze, that means it does have eye tracking, just like the Apple Vision Pro and the Meta Quest Pro. But what's most interesting is the voice commands because that taps into Google's Gemini AI. And what makes me really excited about this is that the AI is aware of both your physical and virtual worlds. So if you see a sign in another language, you can ask it to translate it for you. Or if you're working with some applications and you want it to maybe open up a different application or interact with something in that specific application, it can do it. And people who've had early hands-on time with this do say it's pretty incredible. And the AI can even remember things that you saw a few minutes ago. So even if that thing is not in front of you anymore, you can still ask a question about it and the AI can help. Based on the press release, which I'll have linked in the description below if you want to read it for yourself, it sounds like this is geared more towards augmented reality and productivity type situations instead of something like the Quest headsets, which are more geared towards gaming. However, after doing some digging on Google's developer website for Android XR, it looks like any applications built on Unity, OpenXR, or WebXR can easily be ported to Android XR, which is insane because apparently they've already ported Job Simulator, which is a big VR game on other platforms. So it's possible that Samsung could launch this with a bunch of VR games already ready to go. And <laughs> that would be awesome. Samsung says the headset's going to integrate with the Galaxy ecosystem, so I'm assuming you can do things on your phone within the headset, and we may even get things like multiple virtual screens from a Galaxy laptop. But Samsung hasn't given us any specific details on what they mean by integrating it into the Galaxy ecosystem. And since Samsung is partnering with Google on this, you can expect all of the Google apps to support the headset as well. And Google even has a bunch of demos on their website highlighting some things you can do with Samsung's new headset. And I'll leave a link to that page in the description as well if you want to check that out. And let me know if there's anything specific you want to know about Samsung's XR headset in the comments below, because I do go to Samsung's events, and if I'm lucky enough to get some hands-on time with the headset, I'd love to have all your questions with me so I can answer them in that one video. But even if I don't get hands-on time, I will be buying the headset to do some deep dive videos on it. So get your questions in so I can at least answer them in that video. If you guys want a refresher on the current state of VR, you can check out this video here where I compare the Quest 3 to the Quest Pro and Quest 2. And consider subscribing if you want to see my deep dive review of Samsung's new headset when it's released. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.